I just woke up, that's why I look very sleepy right now, but last night I actually went to Poundland, which is kind of like the UK equivalent of the dollar store, because everything costs one pound. So I went to Poundland and I bought a lot of different foods and I actually took my camera with me, so I'm gonna show you the footage and then what I'm gonna be doing is for the whole of today, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, I'm only gonna be eating foods that I bought at the dollar store. All right guys, so I got my basket and I'm gonna look for foods now. There's an insane amount of crisps and snacks in here. Afternoon snack will be so easy for this one. I'm pretty sure the lunch and dinner will have to be something from a can because that's mostly like the savory foods that I can find. So for example, we got some meatballs here. This is a steak and kidney pie that comes in a freaking can. Like this is solid metal. This one would definitely be a good reaction for the video, guys. <laughs> this is how I feel on the inside every day. I literally just got so excited for the fact that there's like so many cereals for breakfast, and then I realized these are actually two pounds. Damn it. I love when Poundland calls me daddy. I'm looking for something to drink for breakfast, and honestly, the choices are overwhelming. Perfect, just what I wanted to drink. What the hell is this banana flavor magic sipper? I don't know what it is, but I need it. Literally me though. When I see other YouTubers ripping off my 24 hour videos. Also, <laughs> when you copy the homework last minute, but you change a few words. Okay, but you can fill up this cup with all of this candy for one pound only. They've got Red Bull summer edition and it's freaking Christmas time. Me when I make a topical video. Nothing screams Christmas like a light up balloon. And time to check out guys. We're actually gonna start this video with breakfast. So for breakfast these are the items that I bought from the Poundland. So for a drink I saw this Bounty Chocolate Hot Chocolate. It looked weird and interesting, but also potentially delicious, so I just had to get this. Then I also got these chocolate straws because, I mean, I just had to get this. This is so freaking me. And this is probably the most exciting one because with one pound, you can actually buy a whole chocolate cake. It's probably a dumb idea to mix this with a plastic spoon, but... This smells and actually looks incredible. The color of it is actually nice, like, it's a dark, like, nice, chocolatey, hot chocolate. I'm trying to remove this without destroying the cake. Come on. So I'm gonna put it on this plate that I bought at the pound shop as well. I can't complain, this also looks pretty damn good, I can't wait to actually eat this. I mean, I think it looks good. It's a good proportion of cream and cake. Like, this definitely doesn't look like it costs one pound only. It's not bad, but it definitely doesn't taste like chocolate. I don't hate it. I don't think I like the filling in the middle because it's crunchy. So when you bite into it, it's like so much sugar in your mouth. But the actual sponge is really good. Okay, so I'm gonna open the straws. I'm so excited for this. 30% extra free. Me. I thought this was gonna be an edible straw, but actually it's just plastic with like chocolate chips in the middle. Like I'm not sure if you can see, but you drink through the plastic and then the drink probably melts with the chocolate chips. I definitely thought it was gonna be a little bit sweeter, but maybe it's because I made such a large drink. Honestly, can't believe this actually cost one pound. This is better than the Starbucks hot chocolate that you pay five pounds for one tiny one. Wow. The straw is definitely the best part of breakfast. So basically, it's like a plastic tube with like little bits of chocolate. So whatever it is that you drink, it just becomes very chocolatey and very sweet, which is kind of perfect for this drink. I didn't think this was too sweet in first place. So the straw definitely made this taste so much better. So overall, breakfast was good. Like I actually like this. The cake didn't taste much of chocolate. It was just like the plainest cake I've ever had, but definitely didn't taste bad. Like it doesn't make you want to throw up when you eat it. And it's crazy that you can buy a whole one for one pound. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can't put that much chocolate into it, otherwise it'd be more than one pound. But I'm gonna carry on drinking this and next time I see you guys, it will be lunchtime. 
For lunch, I kind of felt like making some spaghetti bolognese, so I actually got these ingredients. I mean, this is not gonna be a spaghetti bolognese, but we're gonna try to recreate it using just Poundland ingredients, which will be quite difficult. And yes, the meat for our spaghetti bolognese will be from a canned burger. You're welcome. Also, I had to get the Red Bull Summer Edition to try it and see if it tastes like summer. The first thing we're gonna do is prepare our noodles for the pasta. Oh my god, this got freaking peas in it. Italian people are gonna unsubscribe because this is gonna be my pasta noodles. I don't think we're gonna do the flavor because that would be extra disgusting. So we're gonna add some boiling water to this. Okay, so we're gonna cover this up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so trashy and set this aside. I don't even want to know what it's gonna look like on the inside. I can actually smell this. Oh! Oh my god, that's disgusting. The smell of this is freaking intense. You know what? I'm gonna keep an open mind because this might actually taste good, so... We're... Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. I'm literally gonna throw up with the smell. You guys should be so happy that you can smell this through the video. I mean, let me just show you. Yep. Actually, on camera it doesn't look that bad, except it smells like dog food if you want to kill your dog. So to this, I'm going to add some of this Domio tomato sauce. Also, kind of incredible that this only costs one pound because this is a huge jar. That smells really nice. This might actually make this taste good. I think we literally just mix some gravy from the burgers with tomato sauce from pasta. Like I said, Italian people are gone at this point, so we can do whatever we want. We definitely have to drain the extra water, but not bad. They look cooked at least, so there's that. I'm using a plastic bowl because if I had shame, I wouldn't be making these videos, so... <laughs> Wow, look at that. This sauce is something else. And there we go guys, this is our pound slash dollar store spaghetti bolognese. It doesn't look that bad though. I'm pretty sure this tastes like apples. I like it. And the start of the show, we're gonna try the lunch that we just made. Why is it falling apart? The actual noodles and the tomato sauce actually taste okay, like this is really not that bad. The problem is the burgers stink. They literally have this like taste or smell to it. They kind of like makes the whole thing taste like it. I had some leftover noodles that don't have any flavoring in them. Mmm, that was so much better. Keeping it as real as possible, guys, I am not gonna finish this. I can't eat those burgers, I'm sorry. It's just like, I would rather eat dog food. I genuinely mean this. I would rather eat dog food than eat this. Things. So yeah, I finished these because there was a little bit left over and that's basically my lunch So I guess I'm gonna see you guys very soon for afternoon snack because I'm still hungry These got my attention because it said beef peoples and I thought it was hilarious because I'm six years old on the inside <gasps> Did you see that? Literally a beefy ball just flew past my face also, that's what she said. This is our beefy balls, and I'm assuming this is like a British version of cheese balls. It doesn't taste beefy though. It's good though, it's very, very salty, but it definitely doesn't taste like beef. I like this a lot, and I think for one pound, you get a huge amount of these. I'm a simple man, I saw a mini candy pizza and I had to get it. It's a miniature pizza made of candy. Please don't disappoint me. It smells good though, it smells like candy. 
Well, what else would it smell like? This would be such a cute present for one pound because it comes with a box and everything. Like if it was my birthday, I'd be so happy to receive this. It's a miniature freaking pizza, guys. This is so cute. I actually can't. You guys know that my soft spot is miniature food. This is good. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> And this is everything I bought for dinner and this is probably my favorite meal of the day because I've got like really weird things that might taste good, might taste disgusting. I got some Uncle Ben's pilau rice which I've actually had before and it's really good. Then I kind of wanted to go for like an Indian inspired dinner and I didn't know which one of these to get so I just got both. I think this one's got actual chicken in it. This one is just the sauce. I'm gonna just mix them up. For drink, I saw Finding Nemo and The Incredibles, and I thought, I have to buy this, and then I got home and realized this is orange flavor, which I hate oranges, so I'm probably not gonna like this. And for dessert, this is definitely my favorite item. This is the Simpsons Easy Freezy 2-in-1 Pop, and these are like freeze pops. My mom would never let me eat this as a kid because apparently they're not nutritious or whatever, but look at me now, mom. I'm gonna eat eight and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm losing all the subscribers. Now Indian people are gonna leave as well. Wow. Delicious. I'm also gonna add some of this for some extra flavor. Can you guys hear that? That's the sound of thousands of Indian people crying because I'm making this. We're gonna open the rice just a little bit. This one is going in the microwave for three minutes and this one is going for two minutes and that's basically dinner. I'm a chef. Please buy my cookbook. Okay kids, dinner's ready. Oh, oh my god. This wasn't a microwave safe dish, no. Look what happened to our bowl. I thought plastic can go in the microwave, isn't that a thing? I think I meant glass. I can't even microwave something, honestly. I'm so pissed off. Ah! And now you're spilling. <laughs> you know what, we're gonna make the most out of this and transfer it to a different bowl. Probably gonna taste like melted plastic. I'm gonna start by adding some of the rice. Come on. I'm not giving up yet, this might actually taste good, so we're gonna add the curry on top. So we got our burnt Indian curry here, I mean this is probably gonna taste like melted plastic because the bowl literally melted on this. And on this side we got a Finding Nemo juice box that even though I'm probably gonna hate, I'm still gonna try. This one is actually not that bad. This one is drinkable. I've got some rice, some chicken, and some of the curry sauce. Wow. I love chicken. Chicken is probably one of my favorite things in the whole world, but guys, this chicken, ugh. The rice and the curry sauce actually tastes incredible, like it's seriously like really good. Like I ordered Indian takeaway all the time and it's not that different, even though my, some people might get offended. The problem with this, it's the chicken. The chicken is so gross. It's like the worst texture and the worst flavor ever, but the rice and the actual sauce makes up for it. It's not amazing, but it's definitely edible. So I'm content about that. This is going to be very good. No fish fingers, stay in there. Oh, this is so cool. So basically each color is a different flavor. So we've got cola, lemonade, apple, blue raspberry, and that's it. I've actually never tried anything like this. I'm telling you, my mom would never let me have these as a kid, never. I think you twist it. Oh my God, there's blue all over my sofa. I'm kind of confused. How do you eat this? Because it's not coming out. I mean, the little that comes out is good. That's everything. 
The flavor of this beats anything I've tried today. This is definitely my favorite item from Pound Lounge slash the dollar store. This is like really, really good. The only thing is I can't quite understand if I'm eating this right or wrong, but it tastes good. It just seems like the hole is a little bit too small. And there we go guys, I really really hope you guys enjoy this video, I had so much fun making it, you guys know that I love making the 24 hour challenge videos, so if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give this video a like, also let me know in the comment section down below more video ideas for 24 hours only eating like specific foods. If you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I'd really appreciate if you did it. If you're watching on mobile, all you have to do is press the subscribe button and then tap that bell and every time I put up a new video, you guys will receive a notification. I think that's everything for today. I had so much fun. I hope you guys had fun as well, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye